Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and on this Flickr Facts video it is all about the basics of navigating groups on the desktop and for this video we're going to be utilising the Flickr Friday group as an example we're going to be looking at a few key components within the group we're going to look at the photo pool and how to add to it we're going to be looking at the group discussions and we're also going to look at the group descriptions and the rules but I'm not alone to do it, as always I have a wonderful guest and back again today is Carol, hi Carol, how are you? I'm great, Alistair. How are you today? I am great. Great to see you as always. So I'm going to let you share your screen and we'll dive over and let you discuss uh, groups on the desktop. Sounds great. Thank you. Um, so like you mentioned, today we're using the Flickr Friday group as an example. We're already on the group page, but just as a reminder to find a group, you can use the search bar at the top here and search by the name of the group or any other keyword to help you find it. Uh, but since we're already here, I'm going to go ahead and click join group to get in on the fun. All right, so that updated to say that I've joined the group. Uh, with some groups, uh, you do have a waiting period while the administrator of the group approves your request to join. But for this group, we can join right away. That means a few things. Now we'll start to see photos from this group in our activity feed. So we'll start to get inspired by those great photos submitted by other Flickr members. Um, and we can also start contributing to the group by adding to the photo pool or the discussions. And those are the main components that we're going to discuss today. Uh, so now that you've joined, as you scroll down the page, I want to call out this section here that has a brief description of the rules, some information about the group's theme, um, and information about who the group's administrator is. Now, this section is really important because by reviewing what the group is about, you will know that you are in the right place that aligns with your interests. And if you have a question about the group, the administrator is always a great person to reach out to. So definitely familiarize yourself with this information uh, before you get started in the group. Now that we kind of understand what's happening in this group, uh, we can dive into one of my favorite parts, the photos. So if you continue scrolling down the page, you'll see a section called Photo Pool. This is a section that contains all of the photos that have su been submitted to this group. So I'm going to go ahead and click View 57,300 Photos, which you'll see right here on the right. This will allow us to see all of the photos submitted to the group. And now I'm on a page where I can see all of the group's photo submissions. Um, there's a view that I'd like to show you by clicking on this photo. Right up here, you'll see these arrows that you can use to enlarge the image that has been submitted to the group. Um, now, I love this view because now I can click through and view the images in a very large format um, to really get inspired by the great details and the great photography of the other Flickr members. But if I move my mouse, I don't lose important information like the name of the photographer, the ability to follow them if I want to see more of their images on a regular basis. Um, and I can still fave and click uh, this speech bubble to comment or the arrow to share it. Um, so this is a great view to use. Um, but I would say the view I use uh, more regularly is probably this one. Um, and that's because this view gives you more context about the photo, which can be really helpful if you're looking to learn more about how the photo was taken or to improve your own photography. Um, so here, it's very easy to go ahead and leave a comment if you'd like to ask the photographer a question or leave them a compliment or talk about the photo. And we can also see more information about how the photo was taken through the EXIF data, and the camera, if the photographer has shared that information. Um, so this view is really great for exploring photos in the group as well. And if you'd like to go back to group, the group, you just click up here where it says back to group. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now that we've familiarized ourselves with uh, the group and seen some of the photos, you might be thinking, oh, I have a photo that would make a great addition for this week's theme in the Flickr Friday group. Uh, so to add a photo to a group, you would just click Add a Photo. And this will pop up a screen that will show you the photos in your photo stream and enable you to go ahead and add a photo. 
Uh, I actually don't have a photo that fits this week's theme. Um, so I'm going to head back to the Flickr Friday page. Awesome. So we've discussed the basics of the group description and rules. We've talked about the photo pool and how you can add to it. And there's one more really important section of groups down here below the photo pool, and that's discussions. Um, now, groups are really a way to connect with people that share your interests on Flickr. So many of them are a source of really vibrant discussion. Uh, here in the Flickr Friday group, the group uses discussions for different purposes. So there's a discussion about this week's theme. There is a discussion dedicated to sharing photos, uh, photo galleries that have been inspired by the group. Uh, there's a discussion about the group's rules. So if you ever had a question, that's a place to go. There's even a discussion to propose a theme uh, for the Flickr Friday group. So before you jump into any group, we really recommend looking through all the discussions, getting to know how group members interact with each other, um, so you know how you can engage as well. Um, for every group, whether it's a critique group or a challenge group um, or a group dedicated to a different subject, uh, make sure you get to know how the group interacts so you can get the most out of it. Um, and if you continue scrolling down this page, you'll see a longer description of the group. You'll also see more information about the group's rules. This group it has even translated those rules so that the information is available to everyone joining the group, which is awesome. Great. Um, and last but not least, I just want to say that, you know, there's many groups on Flickr. Uh, we have written several blog posts that are highlighting very active ones. But if you um, need a tip for finding a group that matches your interest, you can ask in the comments below. Or we've also recently written a blog post highlighting 30 active groups on Flickr. Um, and we'll share that in the description of this video as well. That's wonderful. There's some great information there, Carol. Thank you so much. You and I should now go take some photographs of this week's theme and submit them to that group. And I will see you back here for another video. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.